Hey, what's up guys, Andrew here. And in this video, I show you how to troubleshoot RTX voice with voice meter banana. You're watching this video because you would like to learn how to troubleshoot RTX voice with voice meter banana. Let's take a look. All right, so the first thing that I check for when RTX voice stops working, I usually go to the options, open sound settings. I go to sound control panel. And then when I get there, I just double check to make sure that uh, nothing was changed with my drivers. I make sure that everything is exactly the same the way I left it last time I was here, right? Then I go to the recording tab. Now double check what my default communications device, what that is, which is typically my ATR2100 over here. And then on the bottom, I check where my defaults are here on the bottom of that. If everything looks exactly like it should look, then I come out of that. And then the next thing that I do is I create a backup of the settings that are here, right? So what do I mean by that? So when you look at the setup that you have for voice meter, you have RTX voice being used. You have whatever you have here for your outputs, for your apps and, and different things like that. So I use the cable, uh, the free cable and I, I purchased cable A and B. So that's why cable A is here. So I pretty much do a backup of what this setup is, right? Because this is usually static. It doesn't change. So I just make a backup of this setup here. So the way you do that is you go to menu and you go to save settings, right? And then you save the setting of voice meter banana. So I already have one here, right? So I, I do that because I know that this setup here, this static setup here is usually my setup for voice meter, right? Nvidia, cable output, cable A, just like that, right? Along with the Astro mix amp, as well as the Astro A50 game, right? So this is my setup every single time, right? So then what I do after that, so since um, RTX voice is not working right now, for whatever reason, you, you know, we're creating a scenario here, then I go to the RTX voice application and see if there were any thing that was changed here. So for me, it should be my actual microphone, right? Along with my, my defaults for this. So if anything was changed here, I change it back to what my setup should be, which is ATR 2100 here, as well as my setup. So I check that as well. Okay. And then the, the final step, typically this is the, the thing that makes everything work again, is that I go to menu and I reset the settings. All right. And it would clear this entire application. Okay. But we already covered that, right? Because we made a backup of the settings. So it would clear this entire thing, right? So all the defaults will be out, right? And then from there, you go back to menu and then you load the settings. You find your settings that you saved before, right? And then you restore those settings. And usually once I do those steps, then everything starts working again for RTX voice. And that's pretty much it. And then from there, I double check my Discord application. I check my OBS applications to make sure everything is, is cool there as far as everything working again. Uh, as, as long as the meter is moving the way it should, then I know everything is back to normal. Then I'll probably do some key presses uh, to make sure that that's fine too and everything is working in that regard. And that's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, this is a tutorial that talks about uh, troubleshooting RTX voice with voice meter banana. And if you like this video, please like subscribe and tell a friend and I'll see you on the next one.